let's talk dog attack, shall we? Because there has been another day and yet another horrific dog attack. Uh, footage of which widely circulating on the internet. Uh, I'll play an element of it now and I, I must say a warning to anyone that's easily distressed. If you want to uh, mute this by now or, I don't know, put your hands over your eyes and do it now. Uh, but long story short, there was a lady out on a green area between uh, some flats and not one, not two, but three dogs set about her. The owner uh, desperately trying to pull these dogs off, not really having much joy, it has to be said. Um, it's reenacted this, con oh, sorry, it's recreated this conversation about should dangerous dog attacks, uh, what should we do? Should we do more or less? Let me just get a graph up before I bring you in. Can I just get a graph up on my screen and I'll show you uh, actually what is going on in terms of the numbers of uh, dog attacks. Have I got the graph? Yep, there you go. So can you see that, everybody? If you're listening, not watching, it took a dip, obviously, because the whole country was pretty much uh, locked down. And then it's absolutely shot up in recent years, as you can see. Uh, David Curtin, your thoughts from this? Yeah, I mean, this goes uh, along with what I've heard from the police as well. I, I actually know someone personally who's been uh, attacked by a dog and lost uh, a bit of a finger, which is a horrendous thing. Um, the police said to her um, when this happened, yeah, the dog attacks have doubled in the last 10 years or so, so there is something going on. Um, uh, but no what is it? What do you think it is? It could be um, people... Uh, having more of the dangerous breeds, it could be, um, it, obviously, I think it's people being less responsible with their dogs and uh, people not training them well and not taking good care of them and not m making sure that they um, uh, don't attack other people. Uh, you know, you see these dogs here, there were three of them in a park, they were not on a lead, they were just free, uh, almost in a pack, so they got the pack mentality of a dangerous pit bull type dog and they just attack someone. Well, one goes, then the others go as well. They need to be on leads and they need to be trained and they need to be kept under control. Evan? Yeah, I think that's very fair. And I think, you know, the police say that they're looking for those dogs, Michelle, that you've alluded to. And when they get them, they're probably going to, I would hope, get put down. And But people are worried about it. And some of these breeds, they are really terrifying. Well, it can't, it can't be that difficult to track them down because this was on a grass area on an estate and somebody somewhere will know that fella with his three dogs. You'll have seen him You'd, all over the place. You, you would hope so. But, you know, we live in a world where 98% of bike thefts go unfollowed up. So This is a good point. But then, to your point, you're saying that the police are looking for them then they'll potentially be put down. Do you, uh, and do you at home remember that case of the two dogs that were called Millions and Marshall? Mm. And this was in London. It was on like, um, like a Thames side, like a water side thing. And um, I'll show you a little bit of this footage. Don't worry, everyone. I'm not going to show you the most distressing part. Worry not. You can see on your screen, if you're listening, I'll describe a fella. He's got two dogs. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. There's about seven coppers, uh, at least one, perhaps two of them, pointing at their guns at at these two dogs, one of the coppers, he's got a taser. Anyway, the fella, uh, the dog owner, lets these dogs off the lead and literally within a split second, one of the coppers shoots the first dog and then obviously then goes on to uh, shoot and kill the second dog and taser the owner as well. Many people were outraged by that, really upset, uh, heartbroken. They've written into me about it previously. Was that an overreaction, do you think? I'm not sure it was. Really? Yeah. The police you can't get it right. They're either too soft or they're overreacting, you know? That, that's, the, that's, the, that's the trouble. My father-in-law's an ex-copper. You can't win. You can't win. What did you think to that million Marshall thing? It's a difficult one, isn't it? I mean, the dogs were on a lead. I think if the police hadn't gone in en masse and, and crowded No, they were, initially, they were initially on leads mm. and then the guy let go of the dogs. Mm. So it was all quite a very antagonistic kind of situation, mm -hmm. lots of shouting, lots of bawling, uh, surrounded by police. The, as I've just shown you there, the, the police did have their guns pointed. Mm -hmm. And there was outrage about this. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people that were deeply, uh, deeply hurt by that, that were deeply saddened by the death of those two dogs. I know, and I know a lot of people that were saddened by it as well. I mean, it's a, it's a very difficult situation because, you know, it's hard to know, you know, what was going on in the thick of it. But, you know, 
that was one case. I mean, but, but clearly the other case today was a clear case of a dog um, causing violence. The, this millions and Marshall. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that it was, but it's um, one of the, the one of the situation. most scariest experiences of my life. I will never forget it when I was um, traveling around Cambodia and Vietnam and I found myself in this national park. I'll speed the story up. Um, I went the wrong way, it was near some kind of Buddhist uh, retreat or whatever it was. And these wild dogs came. I have never experienced fear like it in my life. I thought I was going to be eaten to death by exactly. dogs, Kevin. Oh. And no one would know where I was. No one would know what had become of me. Uh, Frank says all dogs should be muzzled by law and a jail sentence handed out to anyone who breaks the rule. Uh, Frank, there will be viewers getting in touch with me now and they will be sending me their pictures of their sweet little cockapoos yeah. and all this kind of stuff. And even I, uh, I am quite frightened of dogs. Even when I, when I see the viewers' dogs, I want to pick them up and I want to cuddle them. And you don't want to muzzle those dogs. When you say all dogs, you don't mean all dogs, or do you? Um, Michelle, do dogs are so important for millions of people and most dogs are fine and most dog owners are amazing. And like most issues to do with crime and victims, it's the tiny minority.